Hey everybody, welcome back to video So Terra Connecting Series is that an analog in your pocket or are you just happy to see me? And today we're going to be going over the setup guide and review for Hotego's Konami Aliens Core. Now if you're wondering why it's called the Aliens Core, pretty much every time he starts working on a new arcade board that has multiple games, whichever game starts running first is the name of the core. Alien started running first, therefore it is the Aliens Core. And if you follow along with this guide, you'll be playing these games on your pocket as well. And there's some absolute bangers here on this Konami hardware. It's not the golden era of Konami as far as I'm concerned that gets more into the violent storm period but these are some amazing games as well and right off the top Aliens the reason that Core has the name is just such a great game before we get too far involved though do me a huge favor go down below hit like and subscribe and ring that notification bell definitely helps us out and if you feel so inclined and want to support the channel we got a patreon link down below as well but there are a lot of good games on this arcade board and most of them that are available are now on analog pocket to find them you're just going to pop over into open fpj and it's going to be under arcade multi you're going to see konami aliens from there you're going to see the games that currently work on the core now as of the recording of this video i still believe one or two might be patreon member editions including thundercross there so to make sure you have all of these working put that jt beta.zip file in the root of your micro sd card for your pocket run pocket updater and update all this will bring down all of the different cores including all the hotego cores and it'll also ingest that zip file extract it and put the beta Beta key everywhere you need it to be if you don't have the beta key not every single game and this is going to work but that's how you get it done versus copying pasting your key to every single common folder and you definitely do not want to do that but honestly aliens is just such an absolutely classic game i know alien versus predator from capcom kind of takes up all the auction in the room when we talk about alien arcade games but Konami absolutely nailed this one. It's a run and gun that kind of feels half like a beat em up and half like a Contra game. And obviously, Konami was good at both of those genres. So, you know what you get here in Aliens is going to be awesome. Now, be aware that every single game is going to have different control options and you're going to have different dip switches as well. So, go into the core settings on each individual game, check them out, and see what they do. They vary between each individual core because every game had different dip switches. But I love this game so much, how it kind of pivots up its viewpoint and perspective. Sometimes you're going on a side-scrolling mission, other times you're basically doing this pseudo 3D sprite scaling into the screen, almost like a third-person pseudo first-person shooter. This hardware was very good at what it did, and the implementation here on Analog Pocket is spectacular. Hotego always makes a great core, and the Konami Aliens core is no different. They are such fun cores, and that's the great thing about Analog Pocket and Hotego. Tego and FPJ in general. We're getting some of these classic arcade games running in a handheld form and they are working so well. Just be aware that like pretty much every Konami game from this era, Aliens is brutally hard so if you want to change up the difficulty, go into the core settings. I suggest you start it at normal and go from there. But it wouldn't be a beat em up or a running gun if it didn't have an elevator section. That's basically a bylaw and here on Aliens we have that. But everything on the pocket is just so good. The controls are spectacular. There is no latency whatsoever. I have not seen a single glitch in the graphics, the entire capture of this. This is a game that I played an absolute ton of. And here on pocket, it feels just as good as it ever did before. And that's the great thing about these arcade multi-cores. Maybe you've never heard of these games before. Maybe you've never got into that core menu and started selecting things. These are half setup guides and half reviews of what games are available to convince you to maybe try something new that you've never seen seen before. But of course, shooting is not just for aliens. We also have Super Contra here as well. Another absolutely classic game that you 100% want to play on this core. But just like aliens and even more so, Super Contra is not going to hold your hand whatsoever. This game has one goal and only one goal, and that is to separate you from your quarters in an arcade. Obviously here on Pocket, we can just keep hitting the select button to coin up, or if you go into the options menu, you can just set this to free play to not worry about the coins whatsoever. But however you play it, definitely check it out and be prepared to die a Lot. This is a game of pure memorization, but because we have that nice FPGA chip in the pocket and no latency whatsoever that's going to affect gameplay, if you die it's because you just haven't learned how things work yet. But I would say the sound as well on this court is spectacular. Konami always had great music and Super Contra is no different. Go ahead and listen to the sound quality for like 45 seconds, I'll be right back with more games.
If you notice a little bit of reverb there in the audio, that's inherent to the original arcade board as well. In this generation, Konami loved to have some reverb, so it's doing exactly what it should if it was a real arcade board. But again, Super Contra is just a ton of fun. Tell me down below in the comments if you ever played this before, because I feel like Contra is way more well known for the NES and Super Nintendo entries versus the arcade counterparts, because even though Contra was an arcade series, pretty much 9 out of 10 people I feel like are going to think about it being on Nintendo consoles. If you do see some slowdown, that is because the arcade board could slow down as well. When there's a lot of enemies and projectiles on screen, it would start to lag, and that will slow the game down. So if you see that in any of the games here on offer, that is because that's how the original hardware would work as well. Let's move over to another game that currently I know is still in a Patreon beta. That's going to be Thundercross. Konami was never as well received in shmups in this era as pretty much everybody else, but they made some awesome ones, and Thundercross here is no different. I love the parallax scrolling in the background, I love the sort of layout of the levels, I love all of the character designs, all of the enemies and sprite work, it is just classic Konami from start to finish, and that's something you always love to see. And this is the most recent game that's been added to this core, so when you do run Pocket Update, or if you haven't run it recently, you probably don't have this yet on your pocket. And my best rule of thumb is run that update or maybe every two weeks or so to make sure everything is current. And again, you're going to need the beta key for this, at least as of the time of this recording. It comes out of beta when Hotego feels like it's ready. Sometimes that's a month, sometimes that's three months. But do be aware if you just drop that zip file into the root of your SD card, like I said before, and run update or it'll take care of all the rest for you. Because it can be quite tricky to get the beta keys in the appropriate place if you try to do it manually. It's a lot of copying and pasting to different common folders for different cores. So make your life a lot easier and use updater with the zip in the root of the directory and you will be totally fine. But again, something like Thundercross here is just such a classic game, and I feel like this definitely skipped a lot of people's consciousness. When he announced this core, I got a lot of comments from people saying that they had never heard of this game before, and I totally get that because it's not the most famous shmup ever. But one thing it is well known for, when Hotego teased it, he said it was a Konami shmup with a lot of good music. In fact, that isn't true. The soundtrack of this is spectacular, and it sounds so great on the core here. I'm going to give you 30 seconds to come back and show you a few more games that run on the core but enjoy. Konami has always had great arcade music and Thundercross is no different. Let's move over to Gangbusters right here. This is one that I feel like a lot of people have never heard of before because when it came over to Mr. FPJ, that's what everyone told me in the news episode. But again on Analog Pocket, this is another classic game. It's basically another run and gun shooter. Now I will say if you're doing handheld, this is going to be a little bit small based upon the Tate screen orientation. But if you throw it on a dock or capture it like I am here, on a regular TV it's going to be much better as far as playability is concerned. The game plays exactly as it should whether it's an arcade release or an FPGA core but sometimes with the orientation of the analog pocket screen and its size these games can be a little bit difficult to play from a visual standpoint when you're actually in handheld mode so definitely some of these games I would recommend playing dock versus in handheld mode but tell me down below who has a dock here I don't know how many of they've actually sold compared to the pocket units obviously for the channel I need a dock and I do play my pocket on my TV a decent amount but I feel like not everyone actually has the dock so if you have played a game like this, a Tate game on your pocket, tell me what your experience is. Some games seem to work better than others, but maybe that's just my eyes. Although I have 2010 vision, so it's probably not my eyes whatsoever. But again, if you've never played Gangbusters before, definitely check it out. These are awesome games that I feel like, depending on everyone's age, maybe you just didn't experience them back in the day. And that's the great thing about FPGA cores. It's not just the Street Fighter 2s of the world or the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles that everyone knows that are on here. There's so many awesome deeper cuts from arcade history that we can play on the pocket and they're so easy to get on the core. Again, if you skipped ahead, all you need to do is use Pocket Updater and update all and make sure that that jtbeta.zip file is in the root directory of your micro SD card if you want the Patreon beta cores as well because it's one of the situations some core is public, some core is not. But there's one other game that people either seem to love or absolutely hate and I'm not sure what camp I sit in and that is going to be Crime Fighters. It is a beat-em-up and obviously Konami is well known for them and it does have some 
charm, but for some reason the controls always escape me on this one. It seems like you need to be pixel perfect measured to your opponent to be able to strike them whatsoever, but the game has a great sense of humor, there is a lot of fun and good music here, so definitely check Crime Fighters out. If you have played it, leave me a comment down below. But follow the directions, use update, or you'll be playing all the Konami Aliens cores on your pocket today. After that, we're done and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.